I strongly believe in the idea of Christians owning property. The world is better off with Christians in positions of financial strength, and cash-flowing property can do just that. My friend Steve has built a substantial real estate portfolio here in New Hampshire, and now he's teaching Christian brothers to do the same. Go to consultingbycurios.com. He's got options where he coaches you through buying your first rental property or done-for-you options for busy people. Again, visit consultingbycurios.com. The link is in the description. All right. All right. Let's do another one of these. It's as simple as that. We're just going to do another one. I was thinking I had stopped. You know, hey, you know, it's it's still going to be funny. It's always going to be funny. But, uh, you know, enough's enough, and you got to move on, right? It's Friday. You know, it's it's November 8th. Um, you know, it's been a few days since all of the – all of the uh, – <laughs> All of the reactions have kind of come out. Things are starting to simmer down a little bit. And I was thinking to myself, let's just stop. And then I saw this post from Blake Callens. That's a that's a name I haven't thought about uh, too much lately. And uh, here's what he says. Blake has this to say. I've read scripture cover to cover multiple times. I've read exegesis and commentaries from two millennia of brilliant minds. I've listened to countless hours of sermons. Whatever religion tells people it's okay to publicly mock someone having a mental crisis is not Christianity. And so in honor of Blake, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Because at the end of the day, if they didn't expect people to be entertained by it, then why'd they put it online? Okay, okay. Let's uh let's day 3. Day 3. I'm here on Shell Shock. Shell Shock with 3 Ks. Sounds like a Nazi to me. Uh, but this person has been compiling all of the all of the great reactions and so we're going to go ahead and listen to some of these uh over again. So first up, we've got uh well, we've got this uh, guy. Because if you voted for Trump, I genuinely hope you are so happy right now. I hope you're having the greatest day of your fucking life. Because you know what? When your kid is in school one day I'm, and there's a school shooting and they fucking die. I'm happy. I, I am happy. I wouldn't say it's the greatest day of my whole life. Um, but I appreciate a lot of these videos start with I, I'm, I'm so happy for you. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I just don't believe them. I don't think they really are die or get sent to the hospital or someone they know gets shot i hope that you are happy with the thoughts and prayers that come from that i hope that you are so fucking happy that if your wife gets raped that she has to have that child i hope you are so fucking happy that the trans people in your fucking life might have to detransition because this motherfucker is going to take away gender affirming care i hope you are so fucking happy that the economy is supposedly going to be okay now because you voted for donald trump the man who was going to take away all the rights of so many groups of people, not even just fucking trans people, so many groups of fucking people that are not straight cis white men. I hope you were so happy with that. I hope you were so happy with what you just fucking did. I hope you were so happy to maybe never be able to fucking vote again because he's gonna take that fucking right away from you. But you fucking voted for him. You fucking did this shit. You did it. Like, great, bro. Nah, cause it yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a mix in there, you know. Some of those things I wouldn't be happy about. Like, if somebody gets shot, you know, uh, I'm not going to be happy about that. If somebody gets raped, I'm not going to be happy about that. Um, but a lot of the other stuff, yeah, I, I, I am going to be happy about that, you know, where, you know, the trans and kids and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's going to make me pretty happy, for sure. And if the economy is better, that that would make me happy, too. And the, uh, you know, the LGBT rights and all that stuff. And we might not be able to vote again. I, I don't know. I mean, like, like I, yeah, it's a mix. It's a mix. But uh, I don't know. You don't seem, you seem a little upset. <laughs> we should just start leaving our dirty tampons everywhere. Because if men want so much control over us, they can deal with our dirty tampons. Clean it up. No, but genuinely, I was trying to think like, ooh, like what revenge sounds the most satisfying right now? And I kind of just want to fling dirty tampons at men's cars, their trucks. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. We should. Ah, this is disgusting. That's the, that's the, I mean, th this is the thing. Like, uh, you know, people always ask me about the 19th Amendment. And I'm just, I'm just wondering, uh, why, why would I want a country where, uh, where people like this 
um, have uh, the same amount of votes as I personally do. Well, actually, not really. Not really, because I am married. So there is that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is this is this is the 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 sign of a mind that uh, should be given uh, no authority in, in anything. I mean, even even over her own self. Like, this is a person that belongs in the loony bin. Somebody corrected me uh, in the last video that we still do have sanitariums. Um, well, we need to be loading those to the brim, chock full of people. That's what, that's what we need to make those bigger, bigger sanitariums. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. This is... Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> one of the advantages of, of showing this on my channel is is to show you the le level of derangement that we're dealing with here in this country. And uh, the level is extremely high of derangement. Um, and so, you know, the reaction to that has to be, you know, it has to compare. It has to be comparably strong in reaction to, to this kind of thing. I mean, this is her revenge. Her revenge is to fling dirty tampons onto men's trucks and... And she said genuinely, I, I believe her, she genuinely thinks this is a, a good strategy. The, this woman needs to be locked away in a padded room. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Okay, if any of you motherfuckers, when I'm out at the bars, be like, oh, this bitch is trans, before it was a cute little joke, but now our rights are on the line. So next time I hear you say, oh, she's trans, <laughs> bitch, you getting your ass beat. You getting your ass beat the fuck down. I'm going to transition your teeth. Down your throat. We gonna be trans together, honey. Okay, if any of you motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> this guy's uh, upset. This guy's really upset. Um, it, it's it's really a sight to behold, and it, it's funny too because one of the things that's so funny about uh, about guys that dress up like women is that uh, they um, they never. They never seem to choose like the personalities of like 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 r rational, reasonable women. They always seem to choose the most uh, <laughs> ridiculous expressions of uh, of what a woman uh, would be like. It's 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 too funny. I mean, it makes sense too because they're obviously uh, sick in the head, and um, so if you're going to be sick in the head and pretending you're a, a woman when you're a guy, you're going to pick a sick woman to emulate. That that's how it works. That's how it works. Pretty funny. All right, we've got this lady here. Take down the Harris Wall signs. Don't take them down, yeah. Keep them in your yards. Keep them in your windows. Keep the bumper stickers on your car. Yeah, yeah. Do keep it. the flags up. Keep wearing the shirts. Keep wearing the hat. Display that proudly. I am so proud to have voted for her. And I'm never going to stop reminding people that I did. And that I believed in her. <laughs> and I'm never going to stop reminding people how hard we fought and how we're going to keep fighting. Don't take the signs down. Keep them up. Yeah, Don't yeah, I support that. I mean, that's not that unhinged. I, I, I support that. I, I'd like to also know who, uh, who voted for Kamala Harris. That, that information will be helpful to me. If you voted for Donald Trump in the election, you're actually fucking stupid. You're the dumbest fucking miserable fuck on the face of the planet, and you're fucking miserable, and we all, we all know it. Because what other reason would you vote for... Do, does this look like a face of a miserable person to you? No, <laughs> I don't think so. I, listen, guys, what I suggest is to go out there and, and just smile. Smile and make sure it's a really smug smile too. That's that's my suggestion to you. A racist, misogynistic, homophobic, fucking rapist. Like that's gross. So, just like you've let everybody down <laughs> in your life, except for the dumb fucks you're surrounded by. Hey, and that's it's not very nice. Just a bunch of fucking dumb people going, yeah, Trump 2024, because the uneducated portion of America votes red. And so you can look that up and just know deep down in your heart of hearts that you're a fucking idiot and you're pathetic and miserable. <laughs> you voted for Donald Trump. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I could understand like um, I could understand like MSNBC and the people on on television, you know, they've got their press suits and they're very polished 
and uh, you know they've got their degrees and stuff like that on the wall, and they've got pr- high production value. I can understand them thinking to themselves. I mean, it's a stupid strategy still, but I can understand at least where they're coming from. You know where they're at. They're making millions of dollars. I can understand them trying to talk down to to me, like, "Oh, you're stupid. Look at me. I'm so smart and uh, experienced and successful." And you're just stupid. That's why you voted for Trump. Like, I can at least understand where that was coming from. Um, it's it's still a ridiculous strategy. Horrendous. But um, I can at least understand that. But then to see this lady uh, in her car, you know, you know, uh, with a T-shirt on and, and messy hair and, you know, j- just not well kept. <laughs> I mean, let's just face it. Um can't put can't string a sentence together you know that kind of thing I, like to for that person to think a good strategy was like well i'm so smart and you're so stupid um i don't even know where she's coming from you know what i mean and so the thing is some people are so dumb that um they don't even know they're dumb and those are the people you really feel bad for i have some sympathy for those people like you're so dumb you don't know you're dumb um you know because people that don't have a high iq that that's not their fault you know what i mean that's just how they are you know they've got a certain capacity for thinking and intelligence um but you know if you're but if you're aware of that you know what i mean like for example i know i'm aware that i'm not that great with numbers so you know when i have something to do that requires you know analysis of the numbers and things like that um i'm i'm you know smart enough to know that i'm not that great at that stuff and so i you know i I, I, I outsource that. I outsource the things that I'm not good at, and I accomplish the things that I am good at. But when you're so dumb that you don't even understand that you're dumb, you don't, you don't understand that you've got weaknesses, uh, that's a real tough place to be. And a lot of people on TikTok find themselves in that position. So it's a troubling position to be in. I actually think that if Trump wins this election, I'm actually going to crash out for real. I'm actually... I think you've already crashed out. I mean, look at this face. Look at these eyes. My goodness. <laughs> I, I still don't really know what crashing out means, but I whatever it is, it can't be good. And uh, here she's saying if, if he actually wins, she's going to crash out. I think she's already crashed out. I mean, this is, this is, this is a shocking uh, appearance here. You're gonna lose my mind. I might have to take a, a week off from everything. I'm gonna have to lock myself in my house. I'm 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 already I'm already freaking out. God, yeah, I'm that's scared. obvious. I'm really freaking scared. I don't like this game. I don't wanna play this game anymore. I don't wanna play this game anymore. I Man, yikes. I, I don't even know what to say. You guys can't be mad if you approach my daughter with disrespect, aggression, and like the feeling that she's being taken control of, and she disables your baby maker. She's been taught well. You guys can't be mad you know, if you approach my daughter with disrespect. I don't know exactly what she's referring to here, um, but she's talking about how she's been training, been training her daughter to, uh, to uh, you know, destroy the, the testicles and penis of men. You know, in uh, the Bible, uh, that kind of thing um, was, was, was met with an extremely harsh penalty. Uh, look, look it up. Uh, it's it's uh, not something to be taken lightly. So, I mean, I guess if she's being attacked or something, you know, whatever, she has to do whatever she can to get out of that situation. No, no one's going to fault her for that. But, um, th- yeah, just look it up. Just look it up. The, the wisdom of God is, uh, is definitely apparent. Isn't it insane to live in a day and an age where I can tell who you're voting for based on how you pet my dog? Isn't it insane to live in a day and an age where I can tell who you're voting? My goodness. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, wow. Wow. Man. And she's got the right to vote somehow. This, This is this is this is interesting. I don't know if you guys caught that, but uh, she has a dog that's got uh, black and white fur. And 
Uh, she's saying that if you voted for Trump, then she already knows that you were going to vote for Trump when you met her dog because you only pet her dog on the white fur. You refuse to touch the black fur. Um, <laughs> what, 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 do you, what do you even say to that? I just don't even know. I don't want to. So I just want to say moving forward, I don't want to hear the older generation saying that Gen Z's lazy or they're not trying hard enough or you're not working hard enough. Y'all want to hand out by voting for Trump. You basically destroyed the young people's future. Any dreams or hopes that we had left of at least owning a house one day is out the window. Gone. Never going to happen. Gen Z, the first generation to, ne to never own a house. For anybody that voted for Trump, you're selfish. I don't know, man. I, I, I think a lot of Gen Z voted for Trump. Um, I mean, it sounds like you just have a negative attitude. That's what it sounds like. Now... No one's going to say that it's uh, really easy on Gen Z right now. I mean, that wouldn't be fair to say. It's, it's difficult. It's a difficult time to be growing up and coming of age and doing the things that, you know, you have to do when you become an adult. Um, but in your case, um, you certainly seem like you might be a dude in, uh, in, in women's clothing um, and st presenting yourself as a woman. Um, your problems are more fundamental. Nobody's doing this to you. You know what I mean? You, you've chosen a life of insanity and, and, and irrationality and um, lots of other things. You've chosen that life. So um, your problem is you. That's the thing. You, you've got a negative attitude. Um, so, you know, you could continue to say that you're a victim of whatever, whatever, but um, you chose the life of victimhood. You, you can just unchoose it. You can unchoose it. You can. You know what I mean? I see you're living in a house. I see you have clothing. You probably are well fed and all these things. You've had enough extra money to buy makeup to pretend like you're a girl. Um, it doesn't sound like anyone's doing anything to you. You're doing it to yourself. Now, I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying Gen Z's uh, got no problems. They've got problems. They've got squabbles. Um, but in your case, uh, these are self-inflicted wounds. And so I really do think that if you change your mindset... You can change your situation. Let's let him finish. You're selfish because you chose cheap gas prices and cheap eggs and cheaper groceries for what could have been a successful future hmm. for the younger generation. Now, us well, if, if you're admitting that Trump is going to uh, reduce inflation, which I don't necessarily agree with, but if you're saying that, you know, you get to pay those lower prices too, and that's part of your future. You see, I think you just need a, a little bit of a mindset correction here. Younger people are questioning, will we even have a future? Because any hopes or dreams that we had left is completely out the door. So I just want to say moving forward. All right. Let's continue. Ooh, ooh, this looks like some good ones here. So ladies, are we all participating in the 4B movement now? <laughs> I will make exceptions though for any anybody looking for a lavender marriage. I am open to that because clearly America doesn't care about us. So here's more more 4B uh, more 4B stuff. She's uh, gonna not have sex with men anymore, but she said she would make an exception for a lavender marriage. I don't know what that is, and I do not want to find out. Let me be very very clear when I say this: if you are an alternative person punk, goth, however you classify yourself in the alternative community and you support Trump, no, you're fucking not. No, you're not. I have never been the type of person that's like, well, if you don't listen to this music, you're not goth, you're not punk. I'm not that type of person, but if you don't... I saw L on, uh, on, on X commenting about these, these, uh, these rings that women put through their noses, and uh, she was calling for a ban on this until we can figure out what's happening here. Because it certainly does seem that a lot of these, uh, these people um, have this, this particular kind of a ring. And uh, I don't think that's a good sign, guys. Gen gentlemen, that is another sign. One of the many clear and obvious signs that God has put out there in the universe to avoid, to help you to avoid, uh, you know, getting involved with one of these women have the same fucking values the same fucking common sense when it comes to human rights you're not alternative 
Let me. Okay. All right. That's cool. Abundantly clear. And let me make something abundantly clear between you and I right now. Anything that goes wrong in the next four years, all y'all's fault. That's what you voted for, right? That's what you wanted. You got the House, you got the Senate, you got the President, and you got the Supreme Court. Baby, it's all you. And I'm clocking all that. Gas prices don't come down. Grocery prices don't come down. You still can't buy a house. Oh, on top of that, your neighbors got deported. Oh, and your <laughs> sister died of sepsis in the parking lot of the hospital. My sympathy's gone. I have no more sympathy to give you. Everything will be funny from here on out. I'm about to get on this app every single day and clock that shit. You thought I was unbearable before? That was in the F around phase. And now you're gonna find out. So while you're crying mm -hmm. to me, I told you so. I told you motherfucking so. Because you are not special to him. You were simply a means to an end. Land of the free, right? Unless you're a woman, of course, or a person of color or LGBTQIA member, or undocumented, or an enemy from within. But hey, you won, right? Go America. All right, yeah. Uh, that, I'm accept I'm allowed, that's cool, I'll allow it. Yeah, you can blame me for everything. That's fine with me. There's another nose Naga ring. is an extremist hate cult. Um, there are people who voted for Donald Trump knowing the harm that it will do to so many people and that is that's me right here that was me who did that I, I i voted knowing what you're calling harm to so many people that's what i did that's why they voted for him that's why she gets it maga 2024 you're in for a rough ride you're a supporter of maga knowing that women are in for a rough ride yeah that's me and you're proud of it yes seek help she Not gets it though i you know i gotta respect it you know you, you see the nose ring and you instantly think she's gonna be unhinged uh, not only was that very calm um and 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 not the typical unhinged that you see on here but she actually gets it she actually gets it it wasn't about the groceries or the gas prices or anything like that sure that played a part no question it played a part uh, but it was about all the other stuff. You know, you know we did it knowing what it meant. Um, and that's what we wanted. Th that, that is what we wanted. I, you know, I'm not, this one, she gets it. She doesn't have to go to the sanitarium. She can stay in her dark room and cry all day if she wants to. That, I'm okay with that. You tell me that people who voted for Trump aren't obsessed and aren't in a cult. Because I can't tell you, I've ever seen a John McCain, a Mitt Romney, a Rudy Giuliani themed first birthday party. So it's not just a Republican thing, but make one great again. The theme of your child that you birthed and brought into this world, the theme of their first birthday is Donald Trump. <laughs> your wedding day, the most magical day of your entire life, you're marrying the love of your life. Your bridesmaids are wearing MAGA hats. <laughs> the signs never leave your yard. You've painted towers, you've painted buildings with him on it. This is so funny because, you know, she, she actually does kind of have a point. Um, again, with the nose ring, and she seems like she's pretty, she's got some lucid thoughts here. So two in a row where I was, my, my theory about the nose rings goes completely out the window. She does get it. That, that is kind of a difference. You know, nobody was going uh, that nuts about John McCain, you know what I mean, or Mitt Romney. Or, uh, you know, whatever. That's very true. That's very true. And she, she, she labels this as cult behavior, okay? So I'm not sure if I'm ready to label it cult behavior, but it is different for the Republicans. It's not something that we typically do. But <laughs> what she doesn't seem to quite get is this is something that Democrats always do. They always have these personality cults. I, I'll never forget this for my whole life. I wasn't really that interested in politics in college. But I remember um, this, this, this girl that I was friends with. And um, when, um, who, who, which one was the one who, who lost to, to Bush the second time? What was the guy? John, John Kerry. John Kerry. When he lost, she was devastated. And she was talking about how her family, they put in so much work and it was such a part of their identity and she felt like she was losing a family member and all this stuff. And 
This is consistent Democrat behavior. They do this all the time. You know, she said, oh, you put signs up on, you're never going to take them down. What did that lady just say? Never take the Kamala sign down. This is part of the Democrat culture. You know, you put it, you painted them on a building. I mean, how many Kamala paintings have we seen on buildings? I mean, this is this is what they typically do. So on the one hand, she's right. This is not typical Republican behavior. On the other hand, she's saying this is weird and, and kind of creepy behavior. But this behavior is what they they do. They do this with every candidate, every not even just presidential candidates. I'm talking House of Representative candidates. People have their whole personalities built around them. It's uh, it's very it's very interesting. Let's you guys let her finish. Think that's crazy. Because I personally would never have my soon to be one year old have a Kamala themed birthday. Yeah, but a lot of your friends because do. Because politicians come and go. They're here to make the country better for a little bit. They are not here to be your savior. And if you believe he is your savior, you are worshiping a false prophet. And I, you, there is nothing that can help you. So, you some lucid thoughts there, but not a lot of self-reflection. To be a therapist, right? Let's see what we got here. If you're wondering if it's hard to be a therapist right now, it is. Really? It really is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, watching the... The pain and suffering that's come from this election. You're about to make bank. Don't worry about it. You can laugh and all the way to the bank. To my clients say homophobic things to me, <laughs> not knowing I have a wife, <laughs> it's really fucking hard. <laughs> it's really fucking hard. Aww. And I have to validate them. Yeah, and you can still cash their checks too. You know what I mean? They're still writing you checks. Yeah, I think again, a lot of these people they just need a little bit of a change in mindset, you know. You could cry all day about the homophobic slurs that your patients are telling you, but at the end of the day, you're the one making out there. You know what I mean? Cuz you're you you you're a charlatan and you're actually not affirming them. They're just paying you to be their friend and to affirm them and to uh, acknowledge them and stuff like that. They're paying you to basically lie to them. You know, as as we can see here, you're you're weeping about this. And uh it sounds like you're the one that's raking them over the coals. You're the one that's kind of screwing them and scamming them. So all you do is just change your mindset a little bit. These these people are paying you to pretend to affirm their feelings. It sounds like you're the one that's scamming them. I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fucking hard. No, well, I mean, hey, you, you get the money for it. That's what you get paid for. Tough luck. I you guys, my, my, my job is hard now. And I feel sorry for me. My, 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 the way I make money is hard. I mean, I don't really feel sorry for you. I think my favorite part about all of this is uh, we don't have to be polite anymore. <laughs> anymore? Why do I want to be polite to you. <laughs> you want to take my rights away? Yes. Fuck you. I'm not smiling in your fucking face. I'm not holding the fucking door open for you. I'm not saying please and thank you. Excuse me. I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself. Fuck you. I gave every single man I saw tonight a dirty look. Did they deserve it? Statistically, yes. Fuck you. This, it's your fault. This is what you did. You asked for it. Uh, yeah, you know, again, this is a sneaking suspicion that uh, this lady wasn't going around smiling at people even before all this happened. You know, she wasn't holding doors and being polite anyway. But she wants you to think, like, now she's got an excuse. Um, <laughs> she, she certainly does not seem like a, a delight. You have to smile. I just saw a man smiling, and I was like, what do you have to smile about? Like, unless you have that, like, smile disease from the horror movie Smile 1 and 2, like, stop smiling. We got a lot to smile about. We got the world by the balls, man. We really do. <laughs> I guess the real, the real question, honey, is what don't we have to smile about? That's that's the real question. Transition. Do not stop being publicly gay. Do not dye your hair back to a natural color. Do not take out your piercings. Do not cover up your tattoos. That is what they want you to do. They want all of us to look alike. They want none of us to be gay. They want us all to be normal. All you're doing when you convert to them is making them feel like they have every right to be rude to those who still want to be out. Because, oh, look at this person. They detransitioned. They used to be gay. Get weirder. Be crazier. They already don't like us. So 
who cares? Stop wearing a bra. <laughs> Dye your hair crazier colors. Look gayer. If that's even possible, do it. Seriously. Who cares? Good strategy. They already don't like us, so who cares? Yes. Do not- Definitely get crazier. I, I fully endorse this. Get crazier. And remember that, that the reason why this election was lost is because uh, everyone out there is misogynist, racist, um, you know, they're against trans rights. So you really need to lean into that. You know what I mean? This is, this is an existential thing for you. Uh, I, would, I would ramp up the woke commentary, you know, call everyone racist, everybody, ramp it up. Call, call uh, ramp up the misogyny and the feminist stuff. That, that's what we. That's what the country really needs. Do that, and then get weirder and crazier and louder. That's what you definitely need to do. You definitely need to do that because that is the winning recipe. That's exactly what people need right now. We need people to be out and and proud to be completely out of their minds. That's what the Democratic Party needs to do. Listen, I'm here to help, man. AD Robles is here to help. If you've never been to my channel before, you should know I am here to help, and I want what's best for you. And so for the Democratic Party, lean into that stuff. That is what you definitely need to do. And if you do it well enough, you can win. I know you can. I believe in you. Well, that's it for today. That was uh, not as not as unhinged as the day before. And I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to start to die down. And maybe at the inauguration, we'll get another kind of jolt of energy. Uh, that'll be fun. And then the, the, we've got four more years of, of this kind of thing popping up every now and then. And it is going to be fun. And I'll be right there to share it all with you. In any case, I hope you found this video helpful. God bless. Well,